course. I, I, I'm I uh, very weary of infusing outside blood into these established uh, lines that I have. Mm-hmm. But that does not mean I won't uh, look at other chickens, experiment with other chickens. Mm-hmm. I still do. That's how I brought in these uh, McRae's that did right. well. I thought that these might add a certain dimension I'm lacking, mm-hmm. right? But every time you cross something into your fo- like, uh, one of my uh, kind of mentors in the sport mm-hmm. taught me that every time you make a cross or you make an infusion, you're taking a risk, mm. right? You already have something that works, and right. by something you're risking, right? And that that always stuck stuck with me because yeah. it's like we talked before. There's no guarantee that you're going to get the good part of the fowl that you're infusing. And I don't think a lot of guys think about that. You know, they infuse blood looking for a particular characteristic to add to their program. But they got to understand that when you infuse, you not only get the good, you also get the bad. 